Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue, I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, how well do you really know your partner? We all like to think that we're very in tune with our partner and we understand who they are, especially as the years go by in our relationship. But we all change a little bit and sometimes we feel like we're disconnected or we don't really know who they are anymore because there's subtle things going on that are changing the way we interact with each other. This is something so important to pay attention to because the subtle changes are the things you need to notice. If all of a sudden you're feeling like you're not as connected together, maybe they're feeling you're feeling a little removed from each other, this is the time that you have to sit down and communicate. Don't let it go and say, oh, maybe they're just in a mood. Because a lot of the times what happens is these moods can last for a long time. And the problem with this is we just think, oh, well, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. You know, we're in a partnership. Things move around. Things change. But the, the ones that make their relationship lasts a long time are the ones that do pay close attention to the subtle changes of what's happening. Because if all of a sudden you're feeling there's a, a sexual disconnect, there's a verbal disconnect, you're doing things separately, you're not spending as much time together, you're not being as romantic with each other, there's not the communication you used to have where you'd sit down, have a glass of wine or coffee and chat about things during the day that happen during the day. When these things start to shift, all of a sudden you feel a disconnect within your own relationship. But this is when it's already been going on for a while. You need to stop this from going too far in another direction because there could be something that's happened within your relationship. Maybe there's something that you've changed careers. Both of you are doing something different. And this will absolutely change the atmosphere in your, in your home life because it's not the way you were used to. It's not the norm. It's, it's gone into a different direction. And this is why it's so important to communicate all the time if you're feeling like you're not really on the same page with each other because this is what keeps a relationship close because you're paying attention to those changes. And it's okay, we're all gonna change, but the thing you wanna do when you're in a partnership is you want to evolve together. And a lot of the times what happens because we don't communicate as much as we should, we evolve in different places. And so your partner might be going in a different direction as to what they want for their future. Maybe they don't want to live in the city anymore. Maybe you want a bigger house. Maybe you want something that is completely the opposite to what they want, but you're not talking about it. And all of a sudden, the conversation, something will pop out, and all of a sudden you look at each other and go, what happened to us? Who are you? Why are we not agreeing and communicating and compromising with each other and a lot of the times it's because you've let it go too far and too long. There's nothing wrong with sitting down and talking to your partner on a regular basis. As a matter of fact it's something that I advise couples to do because it keeps you staying connected. It keeps you talking. Even if it's something maybe you're not liking that's going on at, in, in your home you can still talk about it in a diplomatic way and let your partner know that this is what I've noticed. This is something that we weren't doing before. What's happening? Why is this changing? I can't stress enough how important communication is. It's the most important thing to keep your relationship flourishing and in a happy place because you know what your partner's thinking. You, they know what you're thinking. You guys can talk about all the little things that are changing because they do change. That's just life. We get older. We've got medical things. We get, we have kids. We have all these other things that come in and take away from the partnership of just the two of us. And now we have to look at it in a different way. It's not just us two all the time. We've also got our jobs and our, and our colleagues and our friendships and our family. All those things can come in and make subtle changes and sometimes really big changes. 
And this is why communication is so important that you sit down and have these discussions. They're your friend. They should be your best friend. And when you sit down with a best friend that isn't your partner, don't you talk about everything to each other? Are you keeping a lot of secrets from them? Probably not. Usually your best friend you talk openly to and you tell them things. You share how you're feeling. You share your thoughts. So this is how you should be with your partner. The one thing that I notice a lot of couples do, and it you know, happens in my own relationship as well, is that sometimes you don't feel heard or they don't feel heard. And this is important to tell your partner that you don't feel that they're listening to you. They don't, you don't feel heard. Because that is, that is a very, very big problem in a lot of relationships and why a lot of marriages and long-term relationships start to drizzle down a little bit is because you're not listening and your partner doesn't feel validated. They don't feel heard. So they shut down. And then all of a sudden now you don't know who they are anymore because they're not telling you anything because they feel what's the point. And this is you this is something you don't do not want to have happen in your relationship. Because when one or one or both of you start feeling this way, you start drifting apart more and more and more and more. Because you say, What's the point? They're not listening, they don't hear me. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say or do anymore because they're not they're not reacting to it. They're not understanding my feelings about it. And you might be doing the same thing to them. This is why you don't let things go. You have to sit down and keep knowing your partner. Just because you've been with them for 10 years doesn't mean you know them. As I said earlier, we evolve, we change. We don't stay the same person from birth to the day that we we pass away, we have a lot of evolving, a lot of changes that go on. The last thing you want to have happen is to be blindsided by your partner saying to you, I'm not happy anymore. I can't do this anymore. I don't feel heard. I don't feel like we are connected. I feel like we've really drifted apart. And this happens a lot in, in long-term relationships. But it can be resolved if you are on top of it right away. Don't let it get to that place where it fizzles out because you're not paying attention and you're not caring and you're not being responsible about being a partner to your partner and vice versa. You want to know that you're both always in the know. If, if something's going on, your partner's going through something really difficult, be there for them. Make them talk about it. Don't shut each other out and don't shut your partner out. Another big thing that can happen in relationships when you are sharing your feelings about what's going on, what you're, what's bothering you, sometimes your partner can get defensive. And if they get defensive and shut down because they don't want to hear what you're saying, then that's not working. Because what happens in the situation like that is you as the partner that wants to talk about it says, again, what's the point? And your partner's defensive because they feel like you're criticizing them because of something that's not really going smooth in your relationship. The trick here in any partnership is to hear each other. Just validate each other's feelings once in a while. And as, as the person that's coming in with a conflict or whatever, be careful how you deliver the message to them. You don't want to attack you want to just say, this is what I feel is happening and I, I, I'm uncomfortable. I, I would like to see this change a little bit. I would like us to work on this, include them in it. All those kind of things will help when you have got something that is really bothering you. And please try not to be defensive with each other because you're trying to communicate. You're trying to correct what's wrong. So if somebody gets mad and defensive about it, it's not going to correct it. So it's important to remember that when your partner has something to say, they really want to get it out there. And just like when you've got something to say to them, you want them to hear you too. It's a two way street. If you're the type of person that finds it really hard to talk about things, 
whenever you're out on a date night, make date nights happen. And then talk about things when you're in a really nice environment. You're having a coffee or a glass of wine and you're just sitting there and you're having a nice little chat and bring up things then. You wanna have days where you spend time having fun with each other. Cause that can get lost in the shuffle too when you got all these things at home and your work schedule. You have to have fun together to keep everything good. And it also helps you know your partner because you're talking to each other. There's always going to be a few arguments. There's always going to be stuff. But if you always prioritize each other, take time to listen and hear each other out, you will always know your partner. They're not going to go too far away in the other direction because you're making an effort to keep them close. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe and leave any comments you have under the video. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Take care, everyone.